This is a circle. By subtracting one circle from another, we get a crescent moon. By overlapping two circles, a leaf shows in the intersecting part. By overlapping three circles, a shield appears. It can also be a clover. If it is four circles, a bat-like shape appears. The adding and subtracting of circles is commonly used in graphic design. I believe you have grasped the basic principles. Now try to draw an Antipodean opali dragon with circles. This might be a little hard. Then we can start from something simple, for example, an apple. Use three circles to get the top curve of an apple. Use three smaller circles to get the bottom curve. Use two bigger circles to draw the outline on the left and right. Use two intersecting circles to get the leaf on the apple. Finally, cut out a small part with another circle. I think you know what this is. Let's try something more complicated. First, overlay four circles to get the outline of a shark. Then draw its tail by overlaying two smaller circles. Draw its fins with similar methods. We can also cut out a mouth and gill with circles to make it more distinguishable. Designing by using these circles seems complicated. But in essence, it's just three modes. Addition, subtraction.